It's Jason with Parallel Reality back here with you today uh, to go over something I thought was kind of funny to go over. Um, and as you can see here, this article from the Post Millennial dated March 17th says Newsre Newsweek runs false fact check claiming Greta Thunberg didn't tweet the world will end in 2023, even though she did. So we know there's this climate cult out there. And frankly, that's what they are. They're a cult uh, that is saying the world is absolutely going to end. And it's funny how when they say the world is going to end, the year just keeps on changing and the time frame keeps changing and the way it's going to end keeps changing. But everybody still believes that this is a thing that's actually going to happen, even though none of the predictions they've made have come true. And when I mean that, I mean like literally none of their predictions that they've made have come true in the last, uh, oh, 60 years or so. Say the world's going to burn. It doesn't. They say it's going to get too cold. Doesn't. The oceans are going to rise up. Doesn't happen either. But whatever, let's go ahead and just keep believing these people who have never been right a single time about anything that they've uh, predicted. So back to the story here is uh, mainly, though, about Newsweek running their false fact check. So let's see what happened here. And you remember Greta. There's Greta for you. Oh, come on, computer, scroll down. I'm clicking. It says, in 2018, teen climate activist Greta Thunberg, who famously dropped out of school because she was so anxious about climate change ending the world that she could not focus on her studies. Nice sarcasm there. Shared an article on Twitter about the predicted end times. Later, she deleted the tweet. So the post from 2018 stated the world would come crashing to an end in five years, which anybody that can do basic math, 2018 plus five years is 2023. And... <gasps> We're all still here. How about that? Now, the world didn't end as we know. It says, and Thunberg deleted the tweet. But for Newsweek, claims that Thunberg, and someone's got to check that because you spelled her name wrong, you spelled Thunberg, whatever, deleted the tweet after the word did not end are false. Their reason, because those who noted that Thunberg deleted the tweet didn't address the claims made in the article she shared. Sorry, Newsweek, you done pooched it. She made a prediction. It didn't come true her fat her she's wrong okay and it's funny how all these leftist articles and or articles uh but like newspapers and things always run defense for their side it's pure tribalism at its most basic level for just a second they can't go oh wait yeah she screwed up because it doesn't play into their narrative which is more important than the actual truth Okay, and you see this all the time on the left. It's narrative over truth. And this is what we have here. So what Newsweek said, they're fact checking. Again, if you see anybody saying they're fact checkers, don't believe them. Okay, you see it with like PolitiFact, Snopes, and all these things. I can't tell you how many times I've seen fact check uh, sites or people that have said this fact check is false and it's like no that's actually true what happened okay so you guys are trying to fact check because again it doesn't play into your narrative so this seems to be one of those times so what newsweek said is that the tweet that Thunberg allegedly sent referenced an article that did not say the world would end by 2023 except it did um and Thunberg did share an article titled Top Climate Scientist. Humans will go extinct if we don't fix climate change by 2023. And she clipped a portion of that article that read, A top climate scientist is warning that climate change will wipe out all of humanity unless we stop using fossil fuels over the next five years. Obviously, that hasn't happened, nor is it anywhere near close to happening. So the article was published in 2018. The article said that climate change will wipe out all of humanity. Let's stop being fossil next, right? Okay, we just repeated the same sentences before. Okay, five years from. Okay, we I said that already. We know five years from 2018 to 2023. Perhaps Newsweek was trying to say that it was the need to end fossil fuels that had the five-year timeline attached to it, and not that if the use of fossil fuels is not stopped within five years, then humanity would be wiped out by that point. That is very spurious differentiation. Yes, it very much is. So Newsweek does not suggest that the climate scientist prediction has simply not yet come to pass. Instead, they indicate that Thunberg and the article were saying that the effect of not ceasing use of fossil fuels would be irreversible. Perhaps Newsweek would like to offer a new debate or a new debate, a new date by which humanity will be wiped, will be wiped out since the warning was not heeded. Um, but Newsweek didn't say. Instead, they say that Thunberg, now 20, has been called out by right-leaning commentators. Not right-leaning commentators. It's just people. Okay, doesn't have to just because someone disagrees with you. People on the left doesn't mean they're people on the right. But said she's been called out by right-leaning commentators for allegedly deleting a tweet predicting that five years ago humanity would be wiped out because of its use of fossil fuels. They quote this outlet, so Post Millennial, along with Jack Posobiec, Dinesh D'Souza, Charlie Kirk, and Bridget Gabriel, who all note that Thunberg said that not stopping the use of fossil fuels within five years would end humanity. Okay, and then 
so I just want to scroll on down here instead of just reading the entire article back to you. So I like how it says here. Um, yeah, it says uh, uh, predictions have been made as to the fate of the world due to uh, this practice. You know, the climate change stuff, which is also responsible for lifting people out of or lifting people out of oh, about the fossil fuels. I'm sorry. So while many predictions have been made as the fate of the world due to this practice, so fossil fuels, which has been also responsible for lifting people out of poverty worldwide, each and every prediction from Al Gore's declarations to John Kerry's to AOCs to various and sundry climate scientists to Greta Thunberg. And they spelled her name wrong again. That's the third different spelling of her name in the article. Come on, guys. You got to look at that a little better. Not one of them has come true, which is true. And then, of course, Tucker picked it apart. Of course he did. And here's some other examples of things in the past that people have said. Now, the article I'm referencing, I still have linked uh, to do a further video on it later of a bunch of them together about all the predictions. And the one I was thinking of, if you go look up John Nolte, Breitbart, uh, Climate Change, he has an entire art- or an article, has an entire list of every single prediction made and every year they were made with hyperlinks on all the ones that he could find stories to about all the predictions that these folks were man- making and not one of them has come true. Okay, but yet we still have people that believe this is an existential crisis and, oh my God, we're all going to die. And it's like literally nothing's happened, guys. So some examples, which I think are on that uh, Breitbart article said, in 2009, John Kerry said, the truth is that we face, the threat that we face is not an abstract concern for the future. Scientists project that the Arctic will be ice-free in the summer of 2013, not 2050, but four years from now. And that didn't happen. But John Kerry is our climate envoy. He's so good at this that, you know, he made a prediction that's 10 years out of date and is nowhere near the realm of coming true. In 2019, AOC said the world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. Well, 2032 is not yet upon us, so perhaps we'll have to wait for the internet to memory hold these comments in 2032 before we take AOC to task for being wrong on her apocalypse prediction, but it sure doesn't seem all that likely. No, I'm sure in 2032 we're all going to be here doing the same stuff that we're doing right now. We also have Al Gore, as we know, has made movies about this and stuff. He's a former uh, vice president to Bill Clinton turned climate activist, and he's made a crap ton of money doing it as well. Said in 20, uh, 2009, the polar, uh, the northern polar ice cap had a 75% chance of disappearing by 2016. Hey, look, we're seven years on from that date, and those ice caps are still there. And from all the stuff I've read, seem to be doing pretty good. Um so, in 2020, Thunberg spoke to the World Economic Forum, a bunch of commies, in Davos, Switzerland, saying that with today's emissions levels, the remaining budget is gone in less than eight years. These aren't anyone's views. This is the science. She was citing the International Panel on Climate Change 2018 damning report about the scale of the climate crisis. So, and says that the world is still here. The tweet is still deleted. The predictions of the fossil fuel fueled apocalypse continue to mount and continue simply to simply by the continued resilient existence of humanity on this earth to be disproven. So, yeah, um, th- what it comes down to is, again, I, I made a video about this near the beginning of my channel. So probably like three months ago about where it was just the media is lying to you repeatedly and you know this at this point. So why do you continue to believe them? And especially about something like this, that, you know, I was one of those people that I guess you could say I was a little less than a skeptic once upon a time where I was like, yeah, I think something's happening, but you know, I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be. That was kind of like, I guess the most, um, left leaning you could say I got in. It was like, yeah, I think something's going on. But the more I see and the more I read about stuff, it's just like you can't even slightly logically come to the conclusion that, oh, my God, we're going to die in a few years. Like humanity is going to be wiped out. You you just can't. Um, There's nothing that supports it. And I mean, if things if like the oceans are going to rise, why did Obama buy um, property on Martha's Vineyard? I think there was a, a Tim Pool video where he found some website that showed like what would happen if the oceans rose a certain uh, amount and I think it was like if the oceans rose like maybe four inches total, Obama's place would be underwater. So why did he buy that place if it's such a th- if it's such a thing that he believes in? Okay, like he basically what just bought swampland for shits and giggles. Say, so what about all the uh, people that uh, that use private jets, like John Kerry, for instance, or Prince Harry, that are so into the climate change thing yet they're using the highest carbon emitting uh, thing that you possibly can. Um, no, clearly you, you guys either, you're not true believers in this. Okay. And, and, oh yeah. What about the, uh, 
the folks that like they're all for climate change, but they don't want to use nuclear power, which is the safest and cleanest green energy there is. Like, I mean, there's so many red flags out there and they're not just red flags. This is literally, if you remember from like the old Looney Tunes cartoons, this is Daffy Duck playing his bass drum with uh, the symbols on it where he's like kicking it by the dog. You know, this is like that loud. And they're like, those are, hello, red flag. And just the people in this climate cult are just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. We don't care. And they call you uh, the moron for not believing the science of theirs that has at no point even remotely come close to being true. Um, and and they're over, and again, I can refer back to the Breitbart article. There's something like over 53 in their predictions. Okay. In 60 years now to make this a little more, uh, I guess, uh, for all the normies out there, if you were going to go see a movie and you found out who the director was and the director had never made a hit movie, would you, keep going to see movies by that director and say, probably not. <laughs> um, imagine the director is, you know, the people talking about climate change. Okay. You probably go, no. Say, what if you're, you know, if you're a sports fan, let's just say, cause again, baseball is my sport. Let's just say you had a hitter that you needed to put up the bat and he'd never gotten a hit before. Would you actually put that person up the bat or would you say, yeah, we're probably going to keep you on the bench. Uh, cause I don't trust that you're going to actually do what we need you to do you'd leave that person on the bench. It's just, let's stop believing the stupid crap. You know, if something's happening, something's happening, but it seems like with every day that goes by, there's more stuff that comes out that says none of this stuff is actually happening. And we just got to, you know, fight back against this because this, this, this is BS and we shouldn't have to deal with it. So those are, that's uh, my opinion on this. Let me know what you think. Please like share and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye.